We're going to start with simply opening a blank spreadsheet. If you've reviewed the Getting Started Guide, this should be straightforward. In this example, I've opened a new Excel spreadsheet by clicking on File, New, Blank Spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has a series of columns with letter labels, A, B, C, and so on. If you go past Z, they become AA, AB, AC, and continue in that pattern. Meanwhile, rows are labeled numerically, 1, 2, 3, and so on. These boxes are called cells, and each one has an address. The address of this cell, for example, is A1, and this one is E8. You can see that the label boxes are grayed in the E and the 8. In spreadsheets, you can also have multiple sheets. Here is the Add Sheets button. I can add sheets easily and even rename them to something more useful. At first, we're just going to work on one sheet, but keep in mind that the sheet or tab name will become part of the cell address when we work with multiple sheets. The formula bar is your window into a selected cell. If you start typing into a cell, you can see your typing appear in the formula bar. Alternatively, you could select the cell and type directly into the formula bar. Sometimes, you'll be entering a formula as I have here. I'm adding two cells together by entering an equal sign and then selecting each of the cells with a plus sign in between. If I come back later after entering some formulas, I can examine a cell by selecting it and see the formula that's hidden inside by looking at the formula bar. Another handy trick is to click on the formula bar, which highlights all the cells that are used in the formula. The main menu includes the most custom features of the particular spreadsheet application and varies somewhat between Google, Excel, Apple Numbers, etc. We're going to focus on the features they have in common that's coming up next.